what is e equals mc squared firstly i challenge you that you will not find this unique explanation of e equals mc squared anywhere secondly it will be super easy that even a child can understand it in this lecture you will learn bonus questions basic concept of e equals mc squared while explaining to a child advanced concept of e equals mc squared and daily life uses of e equals mc squared so watch this lecture till the end to learn something very special firstly let me teach you one of the most important questions which a lot of students are not understanding why we multiply the mass by speed of light well we all know that in this equation e is the energy m is the mass and c is the speed of light at basic level we say that mass can be converted to energy and energy can be converted to mass now let consider a ball we know that it possesses some well known mass m according to this equation consider that we completely convert this ball into energy and no mass is left behind now listen carefully when matter is completely converted into energy it starts moving with the speed of light let me repeat it when matter is completely converted into energy it starts moving with the speed of light so here we have converted this ball completely into energy and it is now moving with the speed of light which is represented by c thus there are three variables are three terms mass energy and speed of light involved in this whole process so we write e equals mc squared thus it is due to this fact that we multiply m by speed of light therefore remember that when matter is completely converted into energy it start moving with the speed of light now how can we explain e equals mc squared to a child well consider mr najam and his cousin mr ali now mr najam is going to explain e equals mc squared to his cousin mr ali in a very simple way mr ali we know that we can convert water into ice and ice into water under special conditions for example when we keep water in the refrigerator water is converted into ice on the other hand we can convert ice into water at room temperature so we say that we can convert water into ice and ice into water under special conditions remember that we cannot convert water into ice and ice into water at normal conditions similarly consider an apple we know that an apple possesses some well known mass now when we eat an apple it is converted into energy secondly our body will use this energy to build our muscles also we know that our muscle possesses some well known mass therefore we say that at special conditions we can convert mass into energy and energy into mass this enter conversion of mass energy is known as e equals mc squared let me repeat it this enter conversion of mass energy is known as e equals mc squared and we all know that this equation is presented by einstein so according to this equation we can convert mass into energy and energy into mass remember that at normal conditions we cannot convert mass into energy and vice versa we need special conditions for this conversion here let me teach you one of my favorite questions which 90% students are not understanding what is the name of this equation e equals mc squared well even talented students say that it is general theory of relativity which is totally wrong the name of this equation is mass energy equivalence equation thus note it down that according to e equals mc squared we can convert mass into energy and energy into mass also remember that i teach this concept at very basic level 
Now let me teach you the advanced concept of E equals mc squared and proof that mass energy is interchangeable. Well, consider that I take 1.0000076 kg reactants of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Now they both react together to form 1 kg water H2O. Now listen carefully. Here is one important question. According to the mass conservation law, if there is 1.0000076 kg reactants, then there must be also 1.0000076 kg products. But here, there is only 1 kg product. Where is the 0.000076 kg mass of reactants? Let me repeat it. Where is the 0.00076 kg mass of reactants? Well, according to Einstein Baba, this 0.00076 kg mass is converted to energy. Now the second question is, how much energy is produced when this amount of mass is converted into energy? Well, we use the equation E equals mc squared. Now here, E is the energy released, M is the mass used, and C is the speed of light, which is 3 and to 10 to the power 8 meter per second. We know that this mass is converted into energy. In scientific form, I can write this mass as 7.6 into 10 to the power minus 10 kg. Now I plug in this mass in this equation. I write 7.6 into 10 to the power minus 10 and to 3 and to 10 to the power 8 squared. After calculation, I get this amount of energy or I get 68,400 kilojoule energy. So we say that 0 0.000076 kg hydrogen gas and oxygen gas is converted into 68,400 kilojoule energy. Also we can see that this mass is negligible, but under certain condition, we can produce this amount of energy from this very small amount of mass. Thus here, we say that we take 1.00076 kg reactants of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas and we converted 1 kg mass to 1 kg mass of product and we convert 0 0.000076 kg mass of reactants into 68,400 kilojoule energy. Now listen carefully. At advanced level, according to E equals mc squared, we do not say that mass is converted into energy and vice versa. Rather, we say that mass becomes energy and energy becomes mass. Or we say that mass and energy are the two faces of the same coin. For instance, if you toss a coin, you get either head or tail. Similarly, in any universal phenomena, you get either mass or energy because they both are the same thing. Now let me teach you the daily life examples of E equals mc squared. Consider this cup. Let I increase the temperature of this cup by adding some sort of heat. Here, we have increased the energy of this cup by adding some sort of heat. Remember that when we increase the energy of an object, its mass also increases. Let me repeat it. When we increase the energy of an object, its mass also increases. So the mass of cup is increased due to adding energy. Here, you may be thinking that, why we cannot feel the increased mass of the cup? Well, it is because negligible amount of mass increases which we cannot detect or which we cannot notice in daily life. But note down that, we can calculate this negligible amount of increased mass using E equals mc squared. Secondly, you may be thinking that, how energy increases the mass of a cup? Well, it is simple. When we heat a cup, the number of molecules or particles of the cup remains the same. It doesn't change. Rather, the kinetic energy of every molecule increases. 
we have already learned that energy becomes mass and vice versa so if kinetic energy of the particle increases its mass also increases but we cannot notice it in daily life because it increases to a very little extent therefore remember that if we increase energy of an object its mass also increases now using this logic we can understand mass and energy in the universe for example consider two identical cars let the mass of this car is 400 kg and the mass of this car is also 400 kg now this car is stationary and this car is moving if i ask you which car has more mass can you guess the answer well this moving car possesses more kinetic energy and this stationary car possesses less kinetic energy so comparatively this car has more mass and this car has less mass secondly consider these two identical balls each having 0.5 kg mass no one ball is present at the ground and the another ball is present at certain height above the ground let me ask you which ball has more mass well this ball is above the ground it has more potential energy so comparatively it has more mass than the ball present at the ground thirdly consider 1 kg water and 1 kg ice let me ask you which has more mass well 1 kg water has more mass than 1 kg ice because 1 kg water possesses more kinetic energy than 1 kg ice therefore using e equals mc squared we can understand the mass energy relationship of objects and the universe finally let me teach you one bonus point as far i understand we can use e equals mc squared at microscopic level like dealing with atomic particles like electrons protons neutrons electromagnetic radiations etc for instance the energy produced by an atomic bomb can be calculated using this equation or the energy produced in the sun's core due to nuclear fusion can be calculated using e equals mc squared on the other hand at microscopic level the use of e equals mc squared is very very limited for example we have no such technique practically through which we can convert an apple completely into energy it is not yet possible but theoretically using e equals mc squared we can calculate the amount of energy which would be produced if we completely convert an apple to energy so this was all about e equals mc squared